Someone who's lived and worked all over the world, one of the things I value more than anything else is diversity. And I am so incredibly humbled and proud that I'm working with, I think, one of the most diverse boards in corporate America. As we split our two organisations into Hewlett Packard Enterprise and HP Inc, both Meg and I were very deliberate about how we thought about assembling the new board. What we wanted to do was figure out where we are today, what we think some of the really big challenges are for the future, what kind of skill sets do we think would be invaluable, and then reverse in and find those board members that had those skill sets. First, we had to take the existing set of board members and decide which one should stay at Hewlett Packard Enterprise and which one should go to HP Inc. And then we said, what are the strengths and characteristics that we need? We took stock of the businesses that we are in. We thought about the kind of background that we would want. And we also wanted to build in diversity, gender diversity, racial diversity, but also a diversity of, of perspectives and experiences. So for example, that printing is actually a chemistry and microfluidics business. So we were able to find super whose area of academic research is microfluidics. We have Aida. Aida's our newest board member, and she brings a wealth of experience from her time serving on the Walmart board, and it's just incredibly invaluable to have that. We were able to find Chip Berg, who had actually been in the business model similar to printing. And then, of course, we have some millennial thinking. Uh, Stacy is an unbelievable asset to our board. Her experience brings a richness that we don't have with some of our management is, is really key. And then, of course, we pair that together with some of the legacy directors that we brought over from the traditional HP Corporation Board to provide us that consistency across the organisation. It's a chemistry that just works really well. And I'm the longest serving board member since January of 2009. And to be part of this organisation has been an, indeed an honour and a privilege for me personally. I was only going to do one outside board and this was such an unbelievable opportunity to work with a new management team and be part of a newly formed board around such an amazing brand and collection of businesses. It was just too great of an opportunity to pass up. We all bring different expertises to the board. I come from a material science background and feel that I can bring some of that material science knowledge to some of their growth platforms, particularly in 3D. HP has unique capabilities in many different technologies. We leverage the existing strengths for new technologies that will add significant value to HP customers and its technological portfolios. It's a complex company. There's a lot going on. They've put in the time and the effort to really learn and have brought some terrific perspectives, which are more perhaps particularly suited to HPI than was possible when we were a much bigger company. What's special about this group is the diversity. We have such a range of perspective, interest, and ideas that I think we just bring such a nice chemistry to what is an exciting opportunity for HP. We also set up what we call a buddy system where each of the board members have a direct link with one of the senior executives. That combination allows them to not only talk about deeper areas of the business outside of the, the board meeting, but also provides a point of contact and my board can get more context from the management team and that's worked really well to ramp how well this board is performing in such a short period of time. Keep reinventing. Keep reinventing. Keep reinventing. Keep reinventing. Keep, Keep reinventing. reinventing.